Do you like strength competitions like uh, Chevy versus Ram, Muhammad Ali versus Joe Frazier, or the U.S. versus Russia? Well, how about 375 H and H Magnum versus the 22250? <laughs> Who do you think is going to win this one? We have a bunch of gallon milk jugs full of water downrange, all in a row. We're going to shoot through them and see which one can penetrate the greatest number of milk jugs. We're going to start off with the champion, the Elephant Gun, 375 H and H Magnum, shooting a 300 grain bullet. How many jugs do you think it'll take out? There's eight of them all in a line. I hope there's enough. Might take the hillside out behind them too. Looks like we got a few of them to go. But not all of them. Let's go count them. Well, not bad. Looks like we blasted four of them here, but these guys are losing water too. That's about 10 yards away out there, so that was the first one probably. You can just see one, two, three, four. This one's split open, but not the backside because this is how we had it. Yeah. Now this one's leaked the water out. It's got a hole here and a hole here. The next one has a hole over on the side. That bullet was moving around and then it came out lower and shift it over a little bit so that bullet is moving in the water this jug just got dented but i don't see the bullet lying there hmm. and this jug is fine so we blew four punctured two and just got into one maybe it's not even leaking out though it's like a long dent yeah there's a little crack in it all right in this jug too. You in there? Let's see it. Hey, I hear something. Now that the water's gotten out of here, look at there. <laughs> There's your big 375, 300 grain Federal Fusion bullet. Wow. That's what water will do for a mushroom. If you want a perfect mushroom, shoot into water. That is classic right there. That is a bonded bullet. So the jacket stays with the core, but it's an extremely soft lead core. I bet if that had been a harder bullet, we could have probably gone through a dozen of these jugs. But six or seven is not bad. I forget what it was now, but it's in this guy. And this one's even got a hole on each side. I think what happened was that it was tumbling in the water and it just poked out. You can see that ragged hole that just kind of poked through like that and then stayed inside. <laughs> That's a pretty nice little souvenir. Well, that was a bit of a surprise. Let's give this little 22250 a crack at it. Now this is actually a 22250 Ackley Improved. All it is is the 22250 cartridge blown out a little bit to straighten the sidewalls and given a sharper 40 degree shoulder. Let you put a little bit more powder in so you can make it go a little bit faster. These particular loads, 53 grain bullet, and it's going 3,500 feet per second. We'll see if that is enough to penetrate some milk jugs. Again, we've got eight of them lined up. Doesn't look like we got very many. Let's go check them out. This one about three, four yards away. Man, that really tore that up, that little 22250. Only pushed it half as far as the 375 had done, though. And this one got demolished pretty well, too. And this one knocked over and a little big hole in the back. Pull it one in there. This guy's leaking out. You got a hole here and a hole coming out. Pretty small, though. I think we're running out of juice. Got a little hole here. Leaked out, hole in the back. So what are we up to? One, two, three, four, five. Got a mark on this one. Hmm. So, looks like a 375 beat it by two. 
because it got into the last one and didn't penetrate it. And this one, just by one. Half is only one. Now that 375 develops about 3,600, 800 foot-pounds of energy. The 22250, that'll churn up about 1,500 foot-pounds. So about half. Well, it looks like our 375 H&H won that one, sort of like we thought it would. Big 300 grain bullet up against that puny little 22250 and a 53 grain bullet. But what really impressed me was how powerful this thing really is. I mean, we were only one milk jug less penetration with a 22250 than that big 375. It just goes to show you how powerful even our little cartridges really are. Don't underestimate them. I'm Ron Spomer, Unhonest, Shoot Straight.